हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन डील विथ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स एंड पाइथन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर वी नो दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज अ नंबर विच इज एक्सप्रेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए प्लस बी आई वेर ए इज अ रियल नंबर बी इज अ रियल नंबर एंड दैट आई इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग एन इमेजनरी पार्ट एंड वी ऑल्सो डू नो that the value of i square is equal to minus 1 because no real number is going to satisfy this equation yes so that's the reason why we call i as a imaginary part or the imaginary number so it's very simple that we always uh, a number whenever it is in a form of a plus b i we call it as a complex number now the interesting part is that the python supports complex number and the question is how does it supports the complex number so let's have a look on working with complex numbers in python okay so let's check out how we can work here with uh, complex numbers so the main thing which we need to know is here the j plays the role of i we usually uh, always try to write a complex number like this 1 plus say 3 i but here the role of i will be played by j so i can't write 1 plus 3i i will have to write 1 plus 3j so if i write uh, the same thing is printed back so if i want to know what type of number is this so i make use of type function and then i write 1 plus 3j so of course it is going to be written with a class as complex okay uh, say if i am assigning this complex number to a variable Like x equal one plus three j. Uh, okay, so here the x is a complex number, and if I uh, want the x to be printed, I can get the complex number back. That is one plus three j. Say if I want to print the real part of this, so I will have to write uh, x dot real. So the real part uh, is one. So it is going to return me one point zero with a dot notation. We can. Uh, do it like if you can see here x dot real with a dot notation we can get the real part of a complex number. Say if I want to get a imaginary part, I am going to write x dot image i m a g. So this is going to return me the imaginary part. So from our x, the imaginary part is three. So it is going to return me three point zero. Okay. Now we can do uh, operations on this complex number as well in Python, like addition, subtraction, and all can be done. Further, more uh, operations will be seen in our next video. But let's do one basic operation of addition. So if I say uh, one plus three j uh, added to uh, say three plus five j. Okay. So the answer I am getting is four plus eight j. So it is very much simple. We know that the imaginary, uh, the real real parts are added. That is one plus uh, one plus three is added. That is four, and three j plus five j will be added. So it is going to give me eight j. So here the x is one plus three j. Say if I want to perform an operation like this, say x minus one uh, power two. So uh, the answer which I am going to get is minus nine plus zero j. So it is one plus three j minus one. So three j remains three j power two. So it is nine j square. And we know that the value of j square is minus one. So nine into minus one, it is going to get return minus nine. So it doesn't simply returns minus nine. It always takes the imaginary part with itself. Also, so here as there was no imaginary part, so it is going to give me the answer like this way zero j. So it, the final answer is minus nine plus zero j. So if say we want to do um, addition and multiplication together, so say one plus four j into two. So the answer is going to be one plus eight j because uh, here the multiplication is will be given more precedence uh, than the addition. So the answer would be one plus eight j. Say if I want to do multiplication and uh, exponential at the same time, so one into two j uh, exponential three. So let's see what's the answer of this. 
it is going to be minus 32 j why because 3 j uh, raised to 3 so it is 8 j cube and when it is 8 j cube the answer is going to be minus 8 j and minus 8 j into 4 it will be returning me minus 32 j so such simple operations can be done here the multiplication will be given precedence over addition here the exponential will be given precedence over multiplication expo uh, exponential would be done first and then the multiplication would be done so these are the very simple operations that we can do on complex numbers and if you liked my video click on the like button do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel for further such videos